Thank you for joining me. You're watching Epic Eats with Janet. And on today's episode, we will be making Epicure's Creamy Pesto Parmesan Chicken. The ingredients that we'll be using today are one pound of chicken breast, a little bit of olive oil, but you can use any oil of your choice, one and a half cups of milk, again, any kind of milk that you choose, four cups of spinach, and about three and a half ounces of noodles. And of course, the creamy pesto Parmesan chicken seasoning mix. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and get the sauce ready for our creamy Parmesan chicken dish. And I'm just going to open up the package, dump it into a bowl, and I will be adding one and a half cups of milk. And again, you can use almond milk, soy milk, skim milk, whole fat, whatever kind of milk you want. We're just going to incorporate that together. And then that's go going to set aside and just sit for a moment. So the next thing that we'll be doing is getting our pan from the stove. And it is not hot at the moment. I'll be just setting it down right here so you can all see what I'm doing. I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil to my pan. You can use whatever kind of oil you typically use. And now I'm going to take my kitchen shears and I'm going to cut up our chicken breast um, quickly into the pan. And this is a really fast way to prep your chicken. We just using a pair of uh, kitchen shears and Epicure has a wonderful pair of kitchen shears that you can keep right in your kitchen and use solely for food purposes. but it makes quick work of chicken. So up next, we will be cooking our noodles. And to do that, we're going to use Epicure's 12 cup multi-purpose pot. This is a wonderful piece of equipment. The handle itself will stay cool to the touch no matter how hot the pot itself gets. Um, you have an area here for pouring and on the lid you have two different sizes of drain holes so you can easily drain off whatever you need. Inside the pot there are measurements on both sides. It goes, as I said, up to 12 cups. It will hold up to 12 cups but it also shows the cups and the liters so depending on what you are cooking, how much water you need for whatever the recipe is, you can easily measure it right in the pot itself. No need for extra measuring cups. So I have eight cups of water in my pot. We're gonna put it on the stove to boil. We want a nice rolling boil before we put our noodles in. So our chicken is all done, it's all cooked. So I'm going to bring it over here to the table so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna lay down our roll up rack because it makes a wonderful trivet. So let me grab the chicken. cooked perfectly. And to the chicken, we are now going to take the reserved um, seasoning packet that we mixed up earlier and we're going to just pour it right in, just like that. We're going to return this to the stove and let that cook and it's going to thicken up as it cooks. You want to keep a close eye on this chicken while it's boiling, keeping an eye on the chicken and the sauce as it thickens. Okay, we have a full rolling boil with our water, so we're going to go ahead and put our noodles into the water. Okay, so now that our pasta is boiling, we are going to go ahead and grab our chicken from the stovetop. It has thickened up nicely and we're going to add our spinach to the chicken. You can see how nice and thick the sauce is. This smells amazing. And all we're going to do is go ahead and put all of our spinach right on top and it's going to get covered and put back on the stove and it will stay there until the spinach is just wilted, which won't take long at all. Oh. 
So our noodles have been cooking for about 10 minutes and they are done. And we're going to take them over to the sink and strain them with our collapsible colander. This is made of food grade silicone. It folds right up. It fits nicely inside the pot that we're using, but we're going to be using it as a colander today. So we're gonna bring this over to the sink along with our roll up rack and get set up to drain our pasta. So we're going to go ahead and bring our pasta over to the sink. As you can see, when I grab this handle, it is not at all hot, even though this pasta has been cooking and boiling for about 10 minutes. So here we're going to just strain our pasta. For more uses for our collapsible strainer, head over to my website. Okay, so everything is cooked. Let's get it plated and see how it looks. So there you have it. We've made creamy pesto parmesan chicken in less than 20 minutes because with Epicure, we make good food real fast. See you next time.